Hey y'all, today we're gonna make an instant pot round steak in our instant pot. All while having a whole lot of fun. That's tender. That's 20 minutes and you get beef just like that, y'all. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And Aunt Lou. And today we're going to cook another dish from RecipesThatCrock.com, my beautiful wife's cooking blog. And it's a really hard recipe again today, y'all. Really, really difficult. The most difficult thing is forking out the cash for an Instant Pot, which is totally worth it. You can also do this in a foodie. You can do this in a Crock-Pot Express. You're looking for an electric pressure cooker. Let's say again, oh, shoot, I forgot to make dinner. Or gosh, I need to get dinner on right now. Oh, I have company over, coming over that I didn't know was coming over, and I know they like to eat meat. Guess what? We have a recipe for you that will be done in just around 30, 35 minutes. Super quick, super easy, and super good. Mm -hmm. Super good. Anyway, what you need... Oh, that's what? your superhero name. It is. Super ah, I like it. Da -da -da. <laughs> anyway, what you're going to need for this are ingredients. What round are they? Steak. You need round steak. This is about two pounds Ish. of round steak. And you want them cut into serving size pieces. When the boss went to the store to get the ingredients, all they had were the thin sliced round steaks. So, so that step's taken yeah, care of. The work was already done for you. You also need... Cream of mushroom soup. Yes. You also need... Onion soup dip mix. Yeah. And then you need... Wada. H2O. Guess what? That's it. That's, That's it. all you need. And it's really, really hard to put together. Mm -hmm. You know what you do? You put your round steak in your Instant Pot, your foodie, your crock spot, your, 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 your electric pressure spot. cooker, and crock you spot. put, well this is where we put ours, so this is always the crock spot, uh -huh. and you just simply put in your soup, yep. all of your soup, and you try not to splatter on the kitchen. I failed miserably. Yeah, he'll clean that up later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll clean I that up later. More. Nice. And then Lou's going to do the next step. Sprinkle Look at that. It. Just a little bit. And while she's doing that, I'm going to do this. And get most of it in the Instant Pot. Oh, uh, then you like want to clean that off and then or make to a stir. Mess. Let all the ingredients kind of incorporate together just a little. Look at that, I clean that up later. Uh huh. That's, that is how lid. he'll clean it up later. You yeah, should. I'm like, hey, why don't you grab a rag and clean it up? Uh huh. Take your lid, put her on. Look at that. First try. First Woo! try. I'm getting better. Make sure you have this on the seal. seal. Or, 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 or. And once you know you've got it on the seal, you do. You're going to put this on your meat setting for 20 minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're going to put this on there for 20 minutes on the meat setting. That's what I said. And then. You're gonna let it naturally release for 15 minutes. So make that, sure that your make warmer it on is not warmer. on. Yeah, kill the warmer. You don't want the warmer because you want this to cool off well, a little bit. Well, you can just tell it that it doesn't need to work. You hey, don't have to actually hey, kill it. That's just me. No warmer. And then after 15 minutes, if there's any pressure over, you can naturally release that. And then we'll show you what to do in three, two, one. And we have gone for 20 minutes at high pressure. Came up to pressure, stayed there for 20. When it kicked off, we made sure the warming feature was off because mm -hmm. we wanted it to cool off on its own. Yep. And we did a natural release for 15 minutes and then vented off the rest of it. Took maybe a minute to let it go. Mm -hmm. And you come up with this right here. <laughs> maybe, oh, you already had it open. Sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm still, that's, that's steamy. This camera's having a time today filming. Look at that. Here. You want me that pull one up? so good. Actually, let's just pull it out on a plate. Look at that right there. Okay, nummy. well, that's your piece. Okay. <laughs> now, one way y'all can serve this is like over egg noodles would be really mm -hmm. good. Maybe some mashed taters. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going low carb, neither. Um, oh, you could maybe mash cauliflower? Mashed cauliflower would be good. Rice cauliflower. What about zoodles? Uh, would it be good over zoodles? I'm not saying I wouldn't try it over zoodles. But take a look at that. What I want to do, why don't you take your fork and go right there. That's tender. That's 20 minutes and you get beef just like that, y'all. Yeah, I get the first that bite. fantastic. That's okay because I get the rest of it. Hmm. How's it taste? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. 
my fork goes right through there. And that this is also using a thin cut of meat. I'm not saying that's not necessarily a bad idea already. No. Man, that's super tender. And juicy and flavorful. That's like lunch meat tender. <laughs> right? Hmm. Yeah, that's good. I don't care what you put it on. As long as you put it on a plate, I'll eat it. And you can pour some of that cooking juices over the top. And like if you are serving it over something, that would be mm. super yummy. That is really, really good. Mm. Those wow. those ingredients going in there with it just make it. It's see, we didn't put any salt in it. Mm -mm. And with the soups alone, there's enough salt in there. You can, I mean, you can sprinkle in there for a little bit. I'd do it more for the crunch. I'd do it with like a kosher salt just to put a crunch yeah. to it. But That's really good. I can see that going really well with rack noodles. Mm -hmm. Mashed potatoes. I, I think he's missing Rice. carbs at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> We've been cooking recipes today and some of them are not low carb, so I've been getting bites. <laughs> So now he's dreaming of carbs. Mashed taters, rice, and noodles, and ice cream. And I'm going to stop right now and say, hey, <laughs> that's a good recipe to make. We know that you'll like Super it. Super simple. And we hope that you will also give us a like down below on this recipe. What's up? And if you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, y'all are, somebody's like, hey, what's a Croc Posse? It's our family. Yeah, it's our crowd. It's our people. They're the ones These who are our help people. us and support us in what we do. Mm -hmm. And one great way to support us is by giving a like down below and being a part of what we're doing here. By and also, subscribe yeah, that little you become a part of our family. Wow, you see how hard that is for him. Here's what I say: red is the red button. Next to the red button, with that big long word on it. And there's a little short word called bell. I know how to say that. Uh, that's Ding called ling. ding and you want to click it, and you will know as soon as we put up a new video, and y'all, whatever you do, laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye. Hey, I gotta get this out of this. Oh my god. And today we're no, 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 if you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.